the first time in three years, General de Gaulle makes a public appearance. It's nominally a press conference to explain to the world why he has offered to take charge of crisis-torn France. But by no means all the crowd who packed this hotel ballroom on the banks of the Seine are journalists or cameramen. For this is the declaration France and the world have been waiting for, with divided feelings, ever since the army took control in Algeria and raised the slogan, De Gaulle to power. De Gaulle himself declares he has no wish to be a dictator. If Parliament entrusts him with power, he will not violate the Republic. But he makes it clear that he will expect to be given power on his own terms. Party politics, he says, have failed. But he adds, I am a man who belongs to no one and to everyone. A une crise nationale extrêmement grave. Mais aussi, ce peut-être le début d'une espèce de résurrection. Voilà pourquoi le moment m'a semblé venu. Oui. And now, de Gaulle concludes, I am going home to my village and I shall remain at the disposal of the country. Enthusiastic supporters see him off, but Paris as a whole remains calm. Parliament or de Gaulle, ruled by politicians with all its faults or by generals with all its dangers. Paris is thinking, discussing, waiting, but without fuss. Outside the National Assembly and in other quiet streets of the capital, the riot police are standing by just in case. But they have nothing to do. If Paris is calm, Algiers is far from calm. While the fate of France hangs in the balance, Algeria is virtually a separate state under its own government, the Committee of Public Safety. If anyone here does not support the committee or does not want to see de Gaulle in power in Paris, he'll be wise to keep it to himself. For the French colonists and thousands of Muslims as well are Gaullists to a man. Key figure on the committee is parachute commander General Massieu. Commander-in-chief in Algeria is General Salon. Both declare that at all costs the beach with Paris must not be widened but they believe only de Gaulle can heal it, and meanwhile they will run things their way. Excitement reaches fever pitch with the arrival from France of the colonist's hero, Jacques Soustel, ex-governor general of Algeria, whose reappointment they have been demanding. Soustel favors the toughest possible line in the war against the Arab nationalists. The Paris government did everything they could to keep him in France, but he made a cloak and dagger escape from police surveillance, reached Algiers and joined the Committee of Public Safety. Soustel confers with Massieu and his colleagues, but outside, a huge crowd is shouting and cheering for him, so he comes onto the balcony. Algeria is more French than ever, he declares. We must persevere until victory, and the heart of de Gaulle is with us. To the Arab rebels, he says, surrender and you will be pardoned. So France, in Europe and Africa, stands at the crossroads. Which way will she turn? <laughs>